Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. It takes time to draw another blade. In Ensure better not cause any trouble. It is also your last. Selecting the hidden blade during fight will allow you to... You, Altair. You scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. Où est-ce qu'il court comme ça, cet imbécile? What <laughs> 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 What a relief it is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now, your only escape from Richard's citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. What are you doing? No! <laughs> <laughs> I am with you, 
my friend. Let me rear for the moment, Altair. William of Montferrat has replaced many of the district's honest merchants with men loyal to his cause. He seeks to weaken faith in King Richard by overcharging honest citizens for poorly crafted goods. These corrupt merchants must be removed. Find their stands and destroy them. Be gone, my friend. Read and What have I ever done to you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. It may seem a small thing you've done today, but it's important nonetheless. This bit of paper should prove useful when you finally face William. and push them from the countryside. Now Safety and peace, brother. Although it seems I'll be receiving neither. Serves me right, I suppose. Got a bit careless, and now William sent his bowmen after me. I deal with them myself, but to be honest, I lack the skill. Would you be willing to seek them out and kill them? I, I might have something useful for you, were you to accept. But be careful not to let them see you. Just as it was meant to be. Be strong, stand firm. Do not give up. Without our support, Richard and his men cannot hope to free the Holy Land. We must do all we can to aid them in their cause. Tend to your fields. Provide aid to the wounded. <laughs> sacrifice in service to the Lord.
someone at that. <gasps> He's gonna hit that someone fool. running at What's he running thing? from? Stay strong, citizens. Remain fixed in your beliefs, though the road is long what and your trial of many... Thank you. I can once more move freely through the city. In exchange for your aid, take this map I prepared. It shows where William has stationed his other archers. Most useful should you find yourself inside his fortress. A plague upon Saladin! A plague upon his people! Back again, Altair. Always in need of a hand to do your dirty work. This time, Al Muelim did not order anything. It is just for my own pleasure that I ask you to find some Masia flags I've hidden in Richard's district. Since I am a loyal assassin unlike others, I will tell you what people are saying in Akka. It is important information. But this time, try to come back to me faster than the first time. Ah! Honestly, just go away! You ever see someone do that before? <gasps> I haven't. A few coins, all I ask for is put a few coins. Tell me why Your hard work is changing my opinion of you. Here is what I know about William of Montferrat. He and Richard had a disagreement before the king left for Jaffa. Since then, William stays in his citadel, surrounded by his army. Do you have what it takes to attack him in this protected environment? We'll see, but I am still doubtful. delivered only dead. Oh. And what do we have to show for it? Graves and widows and orphaned sons. King Richard promises a better morrow. Unspoiled land and new beginnings. But he's delivered only death. Stand up, friends. Do not allow yourself to be sent to slaughter based on the whims and wishes of an uncertain king. We must rely on men who are stronger in their convictions. Men like William of Montferrat. pieces on me. Take them. Take them and go. It's not gold I seek, but information. I know nothing. You know William. Tell me how to reach him. It's impossible. He meets with the king. And when will the king be gone? Today. But it won't help you. They're sure to argue. And then William will retire to lecture the soldiers. So it always goes. Richard berates William. William berates his men. He won't see you. I already told you. I need to see William. I never said he needs to see me. 
Then our business is done. Not yet, I'm afraid. There's one last thing I need from you. What is it? Your life. <laughs> You come and go as you please. I thought the fortress was closed to all. Aye, but William wishes to have repairs completed as soon as possible. It's been to our advantage. The perfect cover. It's clever. Anyway, I've finished my report and should deliver it. For once, it seems things might go our way, and not by accident. Well, the Bible does say God helps those who help themselves. Nah, it doesn't, actually. That's from one of Aesop's fables. The Bible says quite the opposite, in fact. Many passages of being patient and faithful and waiting for the Lord to decide if he wishes to assist. Well, I say we've waited long enough. You'll hear no argument from me. Very well. I'm off then. has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. I know what I must do to reach him. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large and many men call him master. But he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.
seems to be in a hurry. Stay strong, citizens. Remain fixed in your beliefs. Though the road is long and your trials many, know that God watches over you. Fear and doubt are the weapons of our enemies. Do not listen to their lies. Poisonous words. My good people, you need yourself. something. Well, I have it. I'm sure of it. Three thousand souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored that end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play at politics. I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Atlas Regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point. But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I've a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, your grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. Conviction and focus. You gossip and gamble. Tasks set to you are left unfulfilled or poorly performed. This ends today. I will not suffer further degradation at his hands. For whether or not you see it, and you should, this is your fault. You've brought shame upon us all. Skill and dedication are what won us up, and they will be required to keep it. I have been too lenient, it seems. But no more. You will train harder and more often. If this means missing meat, missing sleep, so be it. And should you fail in these tasks, you will learn the true meaning of discipline. Bring them forward. If I must make examples of some of you to ensure obedience, so be it. The two of you stand accused of whoring and drinking while on duty. What say you to these charges? My, 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 my lord, please. We, we, we meant no harm by it. We, we forgot ourselves. It will not happen again. No, it won't. Ah! 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 Disregard for duty 
is infectious. It shall be rooted out and destroyed. In this way, we may prevent its spread. Am I understood? Yes, my lord. Of course, by your command. Good, good. Return to your posts filled with a new sense of purpose. Stay strong, stay focused, and we will triumph. Falter, however, and you will join these men. Be sure of it. Dismissed! are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Akka for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akka does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame, you who speak of good intentions. You're done for! Just give up! He won't get away, that is never! He knows what first is to be! Attack him! Kill him! Stop him! This is where you talk! You won't get away from me! Preparation is crucial to your success.
news. William of Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for Conrad, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with Al Muallim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masia. I am sure he is eager for news. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Entering a strong attack will leave your enemy vulnerable. Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Now, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Salle. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies, all pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard, Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, 
Your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malak retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. <laughs> <laughs>